Welcome back. And in tutorials 13 and 14, I covered the tone rules. And there are different tone rules depending on whether a word uses a tone mark or not. And what I thought I'd do today is go into the, the real world and find words on signs that use tone marks and try to identify the tone. Here's a recap of the, the tone rules for words that use tone marks. Across the top, we've got the four tone marks, my ek, my to, my tri, my jatawa, and the initial consonant of each word will be either low, mid, or high. And the majority of Thai consonants are low, so if you try to remember the high class consonants and the mid class consonants, if a consonant isn't one of those, then by definition it has to be low. In the last tutorial, I talked about memorization techniques for the Thai script. Now, unfortunately, there's even more to remember with the, the tone rules. Uh, there's a lot to remember with Thai. And there are different ways to remember. Um, rote learning actually works quite well. Uh, this is why it's so popular in Thailand. The, the modern education system in Thailand is fairly recent, maybe only 100 years old or so. And before then, all teaching was done at temples, and there weren't that many subjects. I think they learnt some arithmetic, but it was mostly language. And rote learning worked really well, so they did a lot of rote. The, the problem in Thailand is that as the education system advanced and they introduced more subjects, they just continued learning the system they knew, rote learning. And rote learning isn't appropriate for a lot of other subjects, but it's quite good for Thai. It's good for um, Thai students because they, they get the, the repetition they need uh, at school from teachers and when they come home they get it from parents. But if you're a foreigner learning Thai you won't get that so rote learning doesn't, doesn't work very well. The method I, I use to remember um, these rules here is, is what I call the uh, Pattaya Death Leap. Now if you're not, not aware there's a phenomenon in Thailand um, where lots of foreign expats living in Pattaya throw themselves to their deaths from tall buildings. Um, it happens f frequently. So I just think of that when um, trying to remember these rules. So with the, the first tone mark, um, this, this is a guy that's jumped already, he's falling. So he's falling, and then he goes low, low. With the second tone mark, he hasn't jumped yet. He's standing on, on top of the building, just about to jump. So he's high, and then when he jumps, he's falling, falling. Now, these are the important ones to remember because um, you'll see the first and second tone marks used a lot. Uh, they, they're used all the time. The, the third and fourth tone marks um, are used quite rarely and they're also a lot easier to remember. So if you see any word with the, the third tone mark, regardless of the, the, the initial consonant class, it's going to be high, high, have a higher tone. And if it's got the fourth tone mark, regardless of the initial consonant class, it's going to have a rising tone. So just try to remember the rules for the first two tone marks. So the fir first tone mark, falling, low, low, and the second tone mark, high, falling, falling. Let's just have a quick practice first, and I'll apologize for my pronunciation and tones in advance. Um, the theory, knowing the theory is fine, putting it into practice is a lot more difficult and I know that my, my tones and pronunciation are not particularly good. This is a, a real world sign, um, four words, every, every word uses a tone mark. Um, I'll tell you what it says, it says Ban Wang, hi, ciao. Ban is house, Wang is available. Chow is like um, to, to rent something. And if it's preceded uh, with hi, hi, which means to give, this is like someone is offering something to rent. 
So the first word, ban. Bo by my is a mid-class consonant and it uses the second tone mark. So if you if you look on the chart, you'll see it's a, a falling tone. Wang, um, wo wan is a low class consonant. It uses the first tone mark. And again, if you look at the chart, falling tone. Hi, ho hip is a high class consonant and that uses the second tone mark. Again, falling tone. Chow. So ch cho chang is a low class consonant and it uses the first tone mark. So once again, falling tone. So we've got four words, um, initial consonants, mid, low, high, and low. But because of the tone marks that are used, every word has a falling tone. I'll upload this image to my website and give you a, a link below where you can download it. And if you really wanted to, you can make a, a very small version that you could carry around. And if you do what I do, um, just trying to read everything you see when walking around Thailand, it might just help you to remember how to identify the tones. Okay, um, now we'll go out into the real world and try and find some real signs and identify tones. We're now on the mean streets of Hat Yai, and here we have a nice tall building to remind us of our tone rules. So first tone mark, he's jumped already, so falling low low. And second tone mark, he hasn't yet jumped, so high, falling, falling. And here we have our first sign. Um, so Kai Ban. So Kai is to sell, Ban house so selling a house and barn we've already covered um, the initial consonant bore by my is mid class and second tone mark so it's falling Sam Chan uh, Chan is floors so it's got three floors so Cho Chang is a low class initial consonant and the second tone mark so it's high uh, C Hong non. So Hong is room, uh, non is sleep. So four bedrooms. So Ho heap on ho, Hong. Ho heap is higher class. And then the, the second tone mark. So that's falling. And Ha five Hong nam. So Hong. Uh, room nam water so that's uh, hong nam is toilet so hong is falling and nam um, not normal is low class and it's the second tone mark and so this one's got a high tone this restaurant sells spicy isan food and it's called gratip now there's a few problems here with the, the transliteration that I'm not going to go into. What I'm interested in is the, the second syllable on this name. And you'll see that it uses the third tone mark, which is fairly unusual. It's the um, to, to, tao, uh, consonant, which is a sound between a, a D and a T. But because it's got the third tone mark, it doesn't matter what the initial consonant class is, they're all the same. So whenever you see this third tone mark, it's always a high tone. So, gratip. This is basically how I learned to read Thai, just by um, walking around reading signs. You, you never know what you're going to encounter, so it's completely random, um, and that's good practice. And I just found it was too boring sitting at home all the time. So I, I would study at home for a little bit, mainly using David Smith's book for the theory. And then I just go outside and um, walk around and try to read as many signs as I could. And if I went to a restaurant and there was an English and a, a Thai menu, just use the, the Thai menu. Just, just practice as much as I could and force myself to read Thai. This sign up here, Liu Sai, Mu 
pop pie. So turn left uh, when safe. Uh, tires don't, by the way. Um, if tires want to turn left, they'll, they'll just go str straight around and they won't look for pedestrians. So be very careful if you're a pedestrian in Thailand. Um, this top line, um, we've got two words, Liel, which is turn, and Sai, which is left. And both words start with low class consonants, Lo Ling and So So. And both have the second tone mark, so both have a, a high tone. Liu Sai. Here's an example of the fourth tone mark, my Jatawa. So this shop sells motorbikes, and the, the name of the shop, which I guess is the name of the owner, is Ah. So the basic sounds is just Ah, which is Sara Sara Ah. Now, as I said before, if you, if you have a word or a name that starts with a vowel sound, you have to put the zero consonant before it. So here we have the, the zero consonant here, and it's got the fourth tone mark, my jatawa. So regardless of the class of the initial consonant, if it's got this, this fourth tone mark, it's always a rising tone. So it's something like ah, this shop sells watches, some quite nice watches actually. I'm just going to look at this bit up here. Um, sung online. So this word just up here means to order. So it's um, sosua, which is a high class consonant. And the first tone mark, so that gives it a low tone. So it says sung online um, you can order it online and song duan tanjai so they will they will send it quickly look shin ping so look look shin are meatballs made out of various types of meat and normally sold on a wooden stick and ping is to toast toasted so toasted meatballs and we look at the, the two parts where we're using tone marks. So, Cho Chang on Shin is a low class initial consonant. And second tone mark, so it's got a higher tone. Look, Shin. And here for Bing, we have the Po Bla, which is a mid class initial consonant. And second tone mark again, but this has got a falling tone. So. Look, Shin, Bing. I've mentioned this before, that tones in Thai are important because a different tone with the same basic sounds will give a completely different meaning to the word. So yes, it's important, but don't get too hung up on it. Because if you speak in sentences, the sentence will have context and you can be understood. My wife corrected me yesterday. Um, we we're in someone, someone else's car and it was dark. And it's a new car that had very bright headlights. So I, I made the comment that the, the headlights were bright. Um, so Wang. And I, I got the tone wrong. So she, she corrected me, but she understood what I meant. So, the biggest problem I find in Thailand is that Thais will just refuse to understand me. Uh, they make the assumption when they see a foreigner that the foreigner can't speak Thai, they can't speak English, so there's no point trying to have a conversation. So if you try to speak to them, they just close their ears and they, they don't listen. But if they do try to listen, and if they do try to understand, they can understand you. So don't get too hung up with tones. I know that my tones and pronunciation are bad, but Thais can understand me if they make an effort. So we're outside a restaurant now, there's a, there's a sign, and we're just going to look, look at the, um, the front part of this. So this word here, Ahan, food, and this word here, Kruang Doom. So um, first word, Kruang, we actually use a, a consonant cluster. We've got the uh, Ko Kwai and Ro Rua, like a K-R consonant cluster. 
So what happens with this, uh, the, the initial consonant is the, the core quai, but we write any vowels and toe marks above the second consonant in the cluster. So krung, the it's a low class initial consonant and the first toe mark. So we have a, a falling tone. And doom, um, do dek is a mid class initial consonant again with the first tone mark so that makes a low tone so you've got to you try and get a falling one on here and low here Krung doom. i hope that was useful it's actually been quite good practice for me these things are never easy so you need to know the consonant class of the initial consonant and once you know that then in combination with the tone mark you can use the tone rules in that chart to work out the tone of the word uh, for words that have a consonant cluster you use the first consonant in the cluster as the initial consonant for tone purposes but if the word has any vowels or tone marks they get written above or maybe below the second consonant in the cluster so the first difficulty is working out the tone of the word and the second difficulty is pronouncing the word correctly in accordance with the tone it should be pronounced with. Uh, you, you will have seen the difficulty that I have in doing this. So mid-tone is just like normal speech. Low tone, we, we just have to drop our tone a little bit. High tone, raise the tone a little bit a falling tone you put more energy into the front of the word than they let it tail off like barn a house mare mother and that word we saw today which was a name that that had a rising tone ah so it starts off fairly normally and then goes up as it as it progresses so ah okay good luck um it's not it's not easy but keep trying if you have any comments questions or other feedback please leave them below and uh, there'll be more videos soon thanks for watching